Welcome back to Engine. This video will take you through the functionality of the collaborative whiteboard inside created collaboration rooms. Whether you are in My Engine or Created, click on the name of the room that you would like to enter. When you enter the room, you will notice you have two options for viewing a whiteboard. You may create a whiteboard from scratch, or if you look on the left sidebar, you will notice some whiteboards have already been created for you. To select a whiteboard, click on the name. The whiteboard appears right inside of the created workspace. As a side note, you may want to talk to the people you are on a collaborative whiteboard with. If that is the case, you can utilize the functionality of the video conferencing at the same time you are on the collaborative whiteboard. Click Start Video to begin your video conferencing. Once the meeting is started, you can click back out of the Meeting tab into the Created tab, and now you can communicate verbally with the other people in the meeting with you as you work on the whiteboard together. Basic functionality on the whiteboard would be this toolbar across the top. When beginning on a collaborative whiteboard, you may want to import a graphic or an image or something for everybody to look at. There are a couple ways to do that. One is if you click on the resources tab here, you may add a resource and it will add in this column here. These resources are meant to be used on the whiteboard and that is how they can be shared and created. For example, if I would like to use the engine logo on this collaborative whiteboard, I would hold the mouse down, drag it over, and release and it will appear. While you have the cross icon you can hold the mouse button down and relocate this image wherever you like. When you have it in the spot where you would like it click Add to Canvas and it will attach to the whiteboard. If you would like to remove this image select it with the selection arrow and then right click to delete. At this time I'd like you to notice the trash icon this icon clears the entire whiteboard, so do not use this unless you want to wipe the entire board clean. Another way you can add something to the whiteboard is noted here. If you would like to upload an image to the whiteboard, this button lets you know you can just drag the image right into the browser. So if I grab an image off of my desktop and drag it over onto the screen, it will appear in this collaborative whiteboard. Notice with the dotted line around it I can move it to where I like and click draw to canvas to drop it. Back to the menu bar this first icon will lock the whiteboard so that nobody else may edit, change, add, or subtract from the whiteboard. We have our selection arrow the next few tools are drawing tools. The first one is a free draw, line, rectangle, and circle. I am going to use the circle tool to respond to this activity. Today, I am feeling pretty energized and very excited to share because I am creating this video. So I would make a circle perhaps right there. You also could use the free draw tool. If I would like to edit my circle, I would click on the arrow and then select the circle. I can change the thickness of the line by sliding this dot. I can change the color of the outline by clicking on this black box and selecting a different color, clicking OK. I can change the color of the fill by clicking on the background color box and selecting a color for the fill. When I'm done, I can click off. Now I can see where my dot is. If you would like to add text, add the text tool. Perhaps I would like to add instructions for this opening activity. Once you type your text, there are options for how it will look. Up top, you can also add a link. Notice you may change the size of the text box on the bottom right. You can relocate the text box on the top left when the arrow tool 
turns to a cross. And if you want to delete your text box, it is this icon of the trash can in the upper right. When your text is how you want it to be, you can click on the whiteboard or click on the check mark that was in that box. Another way that you can add to the whiteboard is through a sticky note. If you would like to place a sticky note on the whiteboard, perhaps to introduce yourself, click on the sticky note icon. This yellow box allows you to change the color of your sticky note so you can make it whatever color you like. Once you have selected your color, click OK. Click on the whiteboard at the location you would like your sticky note to go and then you can type your name and perhaps your position. When you are done, options to move the sticky note would be in the upper left was how you move it and deleting it is top right. If you would like to edit your text or a sticky note, you must select the text tool, then click on your text to edit it. You may also be in the text tool to edit a sticky note. This whiteboard is an infinite whiteboard. To navigate the whiteboard or to move to a different area, you would select this hand. This is a drag tool. This will allow you to move around the whiteboard. Another navigation tool is down here on the bottom right. And as you move this blue box, it will move to different portions of the whiteboard. And this slider, this slider will let you zoom in or zoom out. The last three buttons on our toolbar are follow me, tagging, and pinning. If you select follow me, everybody else's whiteboard will follow where you navigate to on your whiteboard. Tagging and pinning are ways to identify and locate objects on the collaborative whiteboard. To tag or pin, select an object with the selection tool and then right click you will see options for tagging and pinning. A tag is just an identifier. A pin is actually a location. So if I wanted to add a pin here and maybe note that that dot was me, I would name my pin, click Add. Now when I select the pin icon, it will show the pin that has my name on it. The way to use this is if we navigate away from this part of the whiteboard to perhaps to do some other work and we want to come back to that area with the selection tool clicking on that pin will bring us right back to where we were before. If you would like to capture the work that has been done on the whiteboard these are two options for you to save your whiteboard. This button will save it as an image and this button will save it as a JSON. We hope this video has helped you learn some of the functionality of a collaborative whiteboard in Created. The whiteboard functionality is still under development. If you have feedback or suggestions, please use the email address on the final slide of this presentation. Mm -hmm.